the legacy insecticons in under a few minutes let's go yeah fuck them all three of these guys can get lumped into one video it's all right there's one mediocre one one shit one and one good one thanks for coming okay okay um i'll go worst to best that means starting with this guy god so I'll probably delete the short now because in the short he was massively mistransformed and by that the chest was the wrong way around. Well, I'm sorry, I genuinely thought that was the extent he transformed, but it turns out no, this is the extent he transforms. What two extra steps? This isn't a bad alt mode in any way, but like it's so uninvolved that I could call it dad and ask if it's coming to my dance recital. Spoiler alert, he's not coming to my dance recital. Not pictured as the sword things because they were a waste of the clear plastic used to make them they slotted in here and formed a thing and that's about the end of it looks to them as they say in france oh i don't know get the next one in i was genuinely surprised bombshell wasn't my favorite like what happened i think the fact that he does more than kickback but less than shrapnel it hurts the figure a lot like i don't hate this mode it's just it it's the g1 insecticon it's just a block like it's got an articulated it's not a nose cone it's got an articulated thing with a blast effect port and that's cool but the whole thing is just i don't know plus i always wanted to know are those yellow dots on the side meant to be his eyes because he got some big f***ing balls on him you know eyeballs of course for the parts in the audience love you guys don't forget to subscribe to my only fan if we're just going broad strokes in depth i think this one's my favorite just because it it has something and does something but these f***ing mandible things out the front that are articulated so you can actually do something with them he's got limbs built in and you know I, don't, I can't describe it, to be honest. The G1 Insecticons, I always thought, just looked a bit naff in insect mode. Like, it's kind of the same thing with the Dinobots. I kind of prefer it when, you know, they're not just big, boxy, mechanical, 80s, retro things that are meant to look like something. Basically, I'm a gigantic twat. You're wasting your time listening to me talk about these insect modes. So let's talk about the robot modes, since that's actually what I like the most, and display them. Finally, this is where these boys get the time to shine. I feel like they all started in the robot mode and then worked backwards because there's not much different between them all. Well, other than he left his goth jumper in the wash and this one missed out on the three for one on weapons, but hey oh, it happens to the best of us. I still haven't forgiven Toys R Us for shutting down before I could honor my birthday voucher. It was for three free hand grenades. As I say, I do just love the accessories that these guys come with. All the guns look fun and accurate to the character. From bog standard ones cut from the same mould as the original. To this man out here shooting up for the drag mafia. That's right, I'm putting a new spin on RuPaul's Tommy gun. Now it's the RuPaul father. I mean, all three pretty much have the same articulation. So I guess I'll just start talking a bit about each one individually. I'm gonna start with... What the f*** is your problem, bombshell? If I'm counting a mark in each mode as sh you're so far taking the absolute p Starting with the positives, the details and paint applications are nice. I like the chest, even if it doesn't quite mesh with the others. But that's about as far as it goes. Oh, and the articulation, my mistake. Just explain this sh to me, young man. Wait, is this your tinfoil hat to keep the government out so they won't promote their shit ads on Facebook because you said them out loud? Because I'll tell you what it looks like from here, bombshell. This tall, lighter coloured pointy thing on your head gives me the perfect explanation as to why you're not wearing your black jumper and instead you're wearing your purple one. Unfortunately, that also means he's got a bit of restricted head articulation because uh, this thing in the background. On the plus, at least I know that you would have easily survived the cod lobbies back in the day, so I'm proud of you, big man. Keep that bit up. Why can't you bend your knees straight? He does it and he's got the same ones. All right, leave me alone now. With these two, I'll be honest, I don't have much to say. The accessories and the articulation. As I say, bombshells is good as well. He's just a bit stiff. I'm guessing that's because your mother took pity on him last night. I know this because she took pity on me the night before. I'm a really big fan of the glossy paint here on shrapnel. Like, put simply, these three are just, they're not the Dinobots of Studio Series. They're the Insecticons of Legacy. They're deluxe class, not leader class. And and that works against them. Like, I think if you already love the G1 designs and the toys, then you're going to inherently love these guys straight off the bat. But alas, I'm just a miserable old f*** who's secretly hoping for minicons. I don't have a horse in this race, really. I don't hate them, but I also don't love them. Also, can I just say we were robbed of Voyager or Leader Class Insecticons? We could have done a Devastation type scenario. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. I'll be back in just a second. Yeah, you know what, I take it all back.
these guys are totally worth it though. 